All right, this is a thornback ray that we get in our area that we see in the shops as a scape. Uh, it needs quite a lot of preparation. You can see the top and the bottom are both covered in skin. Uh, and there's a lot of thorns on these um, from all over the top in, in, in particular and then a few underneath. They actually need the skin and all the thorns taking off. And this one is actually a particularly thorny one. <laughs> and out of the fish, we don't have that much waste because we actually we use as many parts as we can that people can eat. Uh, the first part we take out is out of the head, it's actually the cheek muscle from by this side of the eye there. We get two cheek muscles out of each fish, which look like that. And what I don't use, the way they waste a bit of head goes in the lobster pot. We then have the tail section, which we take a piece out of here called a banjo, which again needs the skin removing and all the extra bits. We take the skin off by running the knife down either side of the back where the, the line of spines are. And then just run the knife against the line of spines. And then just cut those off. Like that, then just trim that up and make that look a bit neater. We end up with a piece of fish, flesh all round it, and then just a central piece of cartilage down the middle. And then we've got the wings. Now these have got to have the skin off top and bottom, which I've got my own little technique for doing. As I say, this one's got rather a lot of thorns on. Cut the tops and the bottoms ready, and then get to work with the flyers. I'll leave a little handle in the middle to hold on to and then just pull the skin off. Just like that. Obviously the skin is so tough it's absolutely inedible, especially covered with all the thorns. And there are machines that can take the skin off for a lot of money but in the end you lose all the other parts, the back and the the banjo and the um, cheek muscles, the only way to get those is to actually hand skin them because um, the skinning machines only like flat things. And we go around afterwards and just take the, the thorns off that are left around the edge on the top side. That's one side. and turn it over and do the same underneath. Usually the underneath, obviously the underneath is wool white because that doesn't need to be camouflaged, that's the bottom of the fish, which obviously they're generally these thornback rays live on the seabed. Um, and they've got less protection underneath as well, so there's a lot less thorns on there. And usually the white side, the underneath side, does come off easier as well. So. Oh. And then to sell it to people, we just trim that up, cut my handle off, and then you've got your two sky. So out of the one fish, we've now got two wings skinned either side, tail section, the banjo, and then two skate knobs or cheeks, and all of that's saleable.